Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be making a rusted barrel while learning how to use multiple UV mats. Links to the texture and the HDRI I use are in the description. So let's get on with the tutorial. In order to make most use of the decal texture, we will need to modify it. It is best practice to use square texture files. In our case, 1024 by 1024. We will also be making the normal map for the decal texture. You will need to install the GIMP normal map plugin. The link is in the description. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the file, Find the GIMP installation on your hard drive. For PCs, this should be under Program Files. Then open the Plugins folder and copy the executable file into the Plugins folder. Then open the bin folder and copy the three DLL files into the folder. Open up GIMP and make a new document that is 1024 by 1024. Under the Advanced Options, choose Transparency for Fill With. Now open the Decal Texture in GIMP. Select the entire image by going to Select All. Copy and paste the image onto the new document. Right click on the Floating Selection layer and choose Anchor Layer. Then export the texture as a PNG file. Now make sure that you have the image selected and convert it to a normal map by going to Filters, Map, and Normal Map. Just use the default settings. Then export the image as a PNG file. Now we're going to model the barrel in Blender. So delete the default cube and add a circle with 32 vertices and a triangle fan fill cap. Under the Scene Properties tab, change your units to Imperial. Now open the Properties Editor and go to the item tab and change the X and Y dimensions to 24 inches. Tab into edit mode and extrude the barrel along the Z axis. Tab back into object mode and change the dimension for the Z axis to 35 inches. And close the property inspector. And don't forget to apply the scale. Tab into edit mode and add two horizontal loop cuts. Add two horizontal loop cuts to the upper third of the barrel. Then scale these loops along the Z axis by 2.8. Then repeat this process for the other two sections of the barrel. Now select the top and bottom edge loops along with the center edge loops from the additional horizontal edge loops. Then scale them along the X and Y axes. Now select the top and bottom faces. And then inset them.
then extrude the faces along the z-axis to add a lip to the barrel. Now select the entire barrel and add a subdivision surface modifier. Now add two horizontal loop cuts to the upper third of the barrel. Then scale them along the z-axis by 2.9. And repeat this process for the other two sections of the barrel. Now we don't want an end gun for the top and bottom of the barrel as this will distort the texture. So we need to add faces. So select the top and bottom faces of the barrel and we're going to delete them. Go into vertex mode and select four vertices in the top center of the barrel and fill in a face. Then repeat this process for the next four sections. Now add three horizontal edge loops. And then scale them along the y-axis so they're flat. Go back into vertex mode, select four vertices, and fill in a face. Then repeat this until you have four faces along the outer edge. Then repeat this entire process for the other half of the barrel top. Then repeat this entire process for the bottom of the barrel. Now under the UV editing workspace, make a new map and name it Barrel. Mark a seam along the back of the barrel. and also along the center of the top and bottom of the barrel. Then unwrap the barrel using cube projection. Select all of the UVs and under the UV drop down menu choose Pack Islands. And export the UV map. Now let's just set up a simple three point lighting setup. Tab into object mode Select the light and change it to an area light. Move it to the back of the mesh. This is our back light, so we're going to change the power to 2000 and scale the light along the X and Y to 1.5. Duplicate the backlight and move it to the front of the mesh and rotate it. 
This is our fill light, so we'll change the power to 2500 and use the same dark color. Duplicate the fill light and move it to the left and rotate it. This is our key light, so we'll use a power of 3000 and keep everything else the same. Now let's set up our own HDRI. Under the shading workspace, change the data type drop down from object to world. Delete the background node and add an environment texture. Then open up the HDRI. Then connect the color output of the environment texture node to the surface input of the world output node. Now if you don't want the HDRI to be shown in the file render, open the render properties tab and twirl open the film section and check transparent. Now still under the shading workspace, select the barrel and change back to object mode. Add a new material, we'll call it metal. Add an image texture node and open up the metal texture. Then connect the image texture's color output to the BSDF shader's color input. Change the BSDF shader's metallic slider to 0.9. Add a second image texture node. And open up the metal texture normal map. Change the color space to non-color. Add a normal map node Connect the image textures color output to the normal maps color input and Connect the normal maps output to the BSDF shaders normal input And you can change the strength of the normal map as desired Then select all the nodes except for the material output node and join them with Control J. And right click on the frame and rename it to Metal. Now we're going to add a couple warning decals to the barrel. Add a diffuse BSDF shader and add an image texture and open up the decal image and connect the image textures color output to the diffuse shaders color input. Add a second image texture node open the decal texture normal map change the color space to non-color Add a normal map node and connect the image textures color output to the normal maps color input and connect the normal maps normal output to the diffuse shaders normal input. Then add a mix shader. and put it between the principal BSDF shader and the material output node. Connect the diffuse shader's BSDF output to the mix shader's input on the bottom. Now notice that the entire barrel is now covered with the decal. Then select all the nodes except the mix shader and the material output nodes 
and join them together with Control J. And right click on the frame and rename it Decal. Now to fix this problem, we need to work with the UV editing workspace. So under the Data Properties tab, twirl open the UV map section. Add a second UV map and rename it UV Decal. Under the UV Editing Workspace, open the Decal Texture, then select the faces on the barrel where you want the decal to appear. Then unwrap the faces with a simple unwrap. and then move them away from the UV map. And select the entire barrel. And in the UV map area, select all the parts of the UV that you don't want to have the decal on them. And move them outside the border of the UV map. Then move the faces where you want the decals back onto the UV map. And scale the unwrapped faces to the same size as the texture. And you can overlap these faces since they're using the same texture. Now under the Shading Workspace, add a UV Map node to the Metal Frame. Then open up the UV Map Map. Then connect the UV Map's UV Output to the image textures vector input and change the extension from repeat to clip. Open up the UV map on the normal map node and change the extension from repeat to clip. Add a second UV map node and add it to the decal. Open up the UV decal UV map and connect the UV maps UV output to the image textures vector input. Change the extension of the texture image from repeat to clip then open up the UV decal on the normal map node and change the extension of the texture image from repeat to clip. And you can change the strength of the normal map as needed. I'm going to change mine to 3. And here's a hint if like your UV map is outside of this frame you can select all of these nodes and then hit Control J again. Now, if you notice any of the decals, like this one, are facing the wrong way, or this one that's just not right, go back to the UV editing workspace and then change over to your material preview and then find the ones that are wrong like this one and make any necessary changes and for this one on the back of the barrel if you notice that the decal is reversed at the seam just simply swap the faces on the UV texture.
If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.